tutorial I'm gonna quickly show you how to reverse a string and also to play around with a string. So let's start with saying name is equal to list of name. Uh, list name, so let's call this name 2 and let's see what we have. In this case, we are converting this name to a list. So if I print it out now, you can see that we have a list of name uh, converting everything here to a list. But this is not the subject of this video. How do we reverse this string? One way is to say name 2. Of course, you can do a loop that counts backwards, but let's use another method. So you can simply index it from the other side. So I'll simply say name and specify minus 1. So it's going to read this name from the other way around. So let me print it out and so that you can see that this works. But I'm also going to show you another way to do it and which is kind of a better way to do it or, or say a different way to do it. Now you can see that we have Welcome to Python displayed backwards. You can see right here. Maybe I'm going to just increase the font here. Okay. So you can see it's displayed backwards. Now let me just show you another thing. Let's take for instance we have, let me show you first how to convert this name to a list. So for now it's not a list, but I'm going to convert it to a list. I'm simply say, going to say name list is equal to list and specify name. Now if I print out name list, you will see that it is a list. So let me print it out. So I'm going to say print name list. And now we have a list uh, printed out that I, as I showed you before. Now, if you have this list of items and want to reverse it, uh, one thing we can do is to call list of the, of the traverse. So I'm going to kind of say print name list dot reverse. Now this name list dot reverse does not return anything. So if I print out, it shows none, right? So, however, if I if I call the name list of traverse, it reverses the name list in place. So this is actually something we call a function with a side effect. It's not a pure function. So if I print out the name list now, you'll see that it's printed out in reverse order, like this. Not pi uh, welcome. Okay. So this is what we have. Now we now want to reverse. Uh, now concatenate everything to get back the original string. Yeah, so we've kind of fried this egg, but we want to kind of defry it to get back our egg. If you understand what I mean. So how do we now uh, get back this this name from name list? Okay, okay. So we have a name list which is now in reverse. I'm gonna say now real name is equal to an empty string. So what I'm gonna now do. I'm going to successively join the items of the name list, all these items of this list, concatenated uh, to the empty string. So to do that, it's also very simple. I'm going to simply say, um, uh, so I'm going to say real name the join and specify name list. Now this join, I really don't know if it's a pure function, but let me just assign it to new name and let's see. So if I assign it to new name and let's just print out new name and let's see. So now we should have, yeah, so we have this new name is actually taking the list and converting it back to a string. So what have we learned today? We've learned how to, to reverse a string. I told you the first method, I'm gonna, I told you that it's going to be like print print and then you specify name and specify the slice operator that, operator that starts from the end like this. This is going to reverse this name. Another thing you can do is to simply convert it to a list, reverse it using the reverse uh, function and then using the join function to concatenate it back onto a string. So I hope this little time have helped you understand a few things about strings and lists in Python. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to be making nuggets like this every day. And I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an update. I remain kind and the genius and I'm always there for you.